Yeah, it's recording. I can see it. Okay. Yay! Welcome, everyone, to this. We have a rainy morning this morning in California. I'm not sure what you guys probably have snow. I see Ruth Ann is like all bundled with her scarf and her jacket. <laughs> She's freezing. Um, but I want to thank you all for joining us again for a wonderful jewel from our jewels today. Um, I'm just excited to have Whitney again with us. This is round two. Because uh, we had some Take two. <laughs> difficulties last week, but she's so generous to do it again for us because it was just wonderful. So I'm going to turn it over to her right now. She's a Sapphire ambassador from Las Vegas. Yep. <laughs> and um, I'm so excited to have her. So thank you again. Thank you, Cindy. It's, it's a great honor and privilege. And um, I'm so grateful and hopeful to be able to pour into you guys a little bit and um, provide you something valuable that you can really take away. So I'll just start with a brief introduction as Cindy asked me to for those that haven't heard my story before. I have a um, history, an eight and a half year history in a direct sales party plan business where I was fairly successful. I had tried a couple other network marketing um, businesses way back when and I was one of those that spent way more than I ever made despite working really, really hard. So I thought that was something that wasn't for me, but God knew better. And he kind of tricked me into just, it, I just found myself kind of by accident um, in this jewelry party plan business that just kind of had quick um, income for me and success. And, and I didn't really think about what I was doing, I guess, to start with, but it was right and it was meant to be. And for eight and a half years, I did a lot of jewelry parties and I worked really hard and it provided a great um, financial income for our family. Um, in fact, I, at, at a certain point of that eight and a half years, I was extremely successful myself um, and my team was as well. In one of those years, we were the number one in sales and the number one in recruiting in the whole entire um, company for the level that I was at, which was a big deal. And I also, that same year, was I, I received a Perfect 10 Award, which was, I was one of the first 10 people in the company to um, sponsor 10 new people and also to have 10,000 in personal sales in a calendar year. So I, I was kind of a big deal there for a minute. And luckily that turned out to be a huge blessing. Um, you know, I, looking back, I, I had discovered something that I didn't know was possible for my family because I'm not a college graduate, neither is my husband. And we had the opportunity with this direct sales business to create an income that I never would have thought was possible. And it was providing a great income for us. And I'm not talking Sapphire income, you guys. And I was working my butt off. Like I was working every weekend doing multiple jewelry parties. I was doing a lot of weeknights too. I really um, wasn't the mom and the wife that I would have wanted to be, but I saw this opportunity and felt I had to make the most of it because it was providing for our family in a way that we never had the option. Um, so anyways, fast forward eight and a half years, um, that company was not near as, uh, as stable or responsible financially as Plexus, and they announced right before Christmas 2014 that they were going out of business, that that was gonna be their last month, and I mean, we're talking, this was right before Christmas with three kids, and we were in the process of purchasing a new home. And this home was kind of, it's part of my story, so I'll just throw it in there. Um, it was one of those things that God provided miraculously, and there was no doubt, and I didn't think it was a coincidence that he wanted us to have this home, and everything just fell into place. And so I, even though, we got this announcement like as we were in the process of buying this home and we were going to spend all of our savings, every penny of our savings to put on the down payment of this home. At the same time, we found out we were losing the majority of our income. That was really scary. But I feel like that was a big part of my journey because looking back, I don't know if I hadn't been so desperate that I wouldn't, I know for a fact, I wouldn't have hit Plexus so hard from day one. And I'm so grateful that that was my experience because that's what I 
really needed. And it's a major part of my story and my fast success because I was desperate financially. I mean, we had to make a decision. Were we still going to follow through and buy this house and spend all of our savings? And I mean, here I was with, I lost that income immediately and we couldn't even pay our bills the next month, you know? So, but I, I had so much faith and I felt like this is an answer this is the beginning to the answer of our prayers. I've been praying for a long time for something to give, something to change, because I was not, I, I was worn out and I was frustrated and I, I was really having a hard time with the fact that I was missing so much at home. And so um, I just had faith and, and I did a ton of research. It actually turned out to be really um, easy, the system that I developed to research. I had a lot of people reaching out to me because I had been a top leader. Um, I had people messaging me right and left that I didn't know from Adam that wanted to recruit me. They were so sorry, but thank goodness they had the best, something even better for me. And so I took advantage of that. I made a list of if I could like dream up a business, everything I would want in a business. And it, I mean, I had like 12 things on there. And I thought I was dreaming really big. And I said, there's probably not a business out there that exists that can meet all of these requirements, but I'm going to find the closest match that I can. And I'm going to run with it full force because I have to pay my bills next month. And if we're going to get this house, like this is the answer. Like we have to do this. We have to make it work. So I took about a week to just I sent out, I made a questionnaire for my questions and I sent it out to everyone that was messaging me, which was a lot of people. Um, I also sent it out to some other people with some other companies I'd heard of that I wasn't really familiar with. Um, and so I just started researching like crazy. I asked every single person for um, a breakdown of their compensation plan for proof of income from them and someone very successful in their upline. And then, so I just, I just powered through like all that information through tons and tons of different companies. I mean, you name it, network marketing, direct sales. I even had people trying to recruit me to real estate and some other things. And I had a couple companies that were offering me like really enticing packages to join with them, like extra bonuses. Um, Park Lane, for example, like they even offered to fly me to Chicago and start me with a team and give me all these extra bonuses my first three months. And that was really enticing for someone that was desperate for income immediately. But thank goodness I was so prayerful in my decision. I prayed really hard. I researched really hard. And I felt so, so drawn to Plexus. And the more I researched it, the more it seemed too good to be true. And I had to find the catch. Because if this was, I mean, if it was too good to be true, I had to find out what it was. But for some reason, I just kept, I was so drawn to it. So I interviewed Tamara Holloway on the phone probably four times. Um, I just railed her with questions. And um, the more I learned, the more I was just blown away by this opportunity because it was so different than anything else that was out there. And I'll point out a couple of the highlights. Um, actually, you know, I'm not going to take the time to do that. I would just tell you if you want to really know more about the research that I did, it can be pretty powerful when you're trying to um, to promote this to um a business builder and or someone that you think would really excel at this business and it's also really powerful um, you know it, for someone who's in a different type of multi-level marketing company that may want to compare and see the difference my videos on YouTube and it's called why plexus I did the research for you so you can find it easily on there and learn more about why this is so unique and special I mean it is really different than anything out there you guys if you don't believe me do the research yourself or watch that video it is phenomenal our compensation plans like none other and I just I felt like this was where I was supposed to be and I was so excited the more I learned and so I jumped in full force. This was about two weeks before New Year's at this time, like right during Christmas, right? So who's going to start a business with me right before Christmas? And who's going to want to learn about getting healthier? Oh, look at that cutie. <laughs> um, anyways, so 
it, it actually worked out really nice because I decided I was going to wait till January 1st to join, to officially join. But I started prepping. I started working my business um, right away. So about one and a half, two weeks before January 1st, I put together some of the stats that were most impressive to me about what I had found. And I put together just a few testimonials of the products and um, – I just reached out to people with so much excitement and I was like, you are not going to believe what I found. Like I legit like was reaching out to people as if I had found like a gold mine and I was going to invite them to come dig it with me. And that's, that type of confidence and excitement is what had like 20 people join with me the very first day. And, um, I, I fast track senior gold and you know in all honesty I I really expected to fast start Ruby and I, I believe I could have we moved that same month and so I spent like a whole week moving that I couldn't really work my business but I believe I could have fast started Ruby because of the way that I launched that um, but I'm grateful for the the success that we had quickly and it was more than we needed to pay our bills that first month and I was just blown away with gratitude. Tarl Robinson actually called me about two weeks after I joined and I didn't have a clue who he was. I mispronounced his name. It was actually quite funny, but I got to tell you, he was so, so humble and kind and I am, I was just blown away after I found out who he was, like the CEO of this company, and he was like asking me for, um, you know, any advice or input. He wanted to know my experience. And I mean, he, he was just so amazing. Um, so that made me fall in love even more. And, and I was so, so validated in the decision I'd made. Um, so I, I promoted to Emerald in nine months. Um, I actually thought I could do it quicker, but I took it at a pace. I, I feel like in the, from the very beginning, I kind of made this agreement with Heavenly Father that if he would um, provide me something that I could really be the mom and the wife that I wanted to be and take care of us financially, that I would always put my family first and put him first. And I have no doubt, like I, I never once missed anything that was important to my family during that nine month period. I never missed a dinner. Um, I was, I, I was really, I took it at the pace that was right for my family and I'm so grateful. So anyways, I promoted to Emerald in nine months. Um, that's right when they switched the website. September 1st was the day after I promoted of 2000. 15 and that was the day they upgraded the website to InfoTrax and all hell broke loose like no joke it was a disaster and I spent the next probably six months maybe even just trying to keep my team above water it was I was putting out fires all day every day but the amazing thing is we had so much momentum that my team was growing during that time and that was such a blessing. I promoted to Sapphire um, within 14 months during that huge catastrophe with Infotrax. And um, it's all because I got such a fast start and we had so much momentum. And I started with business builders. And that's my main message that I really, really promote that I'm hopeful that you'll hear is it's not just how often you share Plexus and how, how, much time you spend working your business, it's what you share about Plexus that's gonna make the difference of how fast you grow a team and if you become a jewel. And here's why. Um, if you are building a team of wholesale shoppers and you're really the only business builder from day one, then you are going to work so much harder for so much less than if you start from day one promoting this business opportunity that is second to none. And if you do it well, you will find people left and right that want to join you for the income and that will be business builders from day one. And that is incredibly powerful because if you get business builders, people that join for the business, guess what they do? They do the same thing you do. They start sharing the business right away and your efforts duplicate over and over and over again. And it is so powerful and so much different than sharing products with people that are absolutely amazing and life-changing. And on, in all honesty, like looking 
that already I can see that that was the main blessing that God wanted us to have is the help that this provided my family. My husband avoided a surgery. My son is a completely different person because of these products. And that to me is better than any amount of money or free Lexus or free trip to Hawaii. But, um, I also, we were sinking financially and desperate, and, and this was the answer to both prayers for us. Um, the one I didn't even realize was how bad we needed it was the health. But anyways, the products are life-changing. They're amazing. I get that. But if you're just promoting the products, you're building a team of wholesale shoppers and customers. That's, that's what you're doing, and you're not, you're not building duplication and momentum um, and you are not, I don't believe it's possible to get to Emerald by promoting the products. I really don't because wholesale shoppers, I mean, once in a while, they'll, they'll talk to a few friends about it and get a few people on their team. But if you don't have, and, and there's, I mean, of course, there are some of those that really get the big picture and become a business builder, but it's not very common. And here's an analogy that I want to share with you. Okay. So this is, this is my, the second part of my message. It's not just how often you share, but it's what you share that will determine if you become a jewel and it's, and speed is a major, major factor in how easy it is to get there. I mean, if you haven't already watched the YouTube video that Rhonda Shaw made called success loves speed, Go watch that video right after this. You will be blown away. And, and I totally agree with everything she says on there. Like, it's so powerful. And here's another analogy that I have kind of developed over the past couple of weeks that's just been, like, kind of blowing my mind. So um, if you think about every single ambassador um, as a bathtub, this is kind of funny, but it's, it's a good analogy. If you think about every brand new ambassador as a bathtub, um, there's, there's this thing that we battle um, in any type of network marketing business called attrition. And that's like having a slow leak in your bathtub. Now, when you first join that first month, there's no leak in your bathtub because there's going to be no attrition that first month, right? But from second month on, there's always a slow leak in your tub because of attrition. No matter how amazing you are at sharing plexus no matter how well you set up your new ambassadors there's always attrition so there's always a leak in the tub now the faster you fill up the tub the less noticeable that leak is and the more easy it is to maintain a full bathtub once you get it full even if there's a slow leak but um if if you just like if you consider the way that you join plexus if you start out and you're like, oh, I want to get a testimonial of the products first before I start sharing, I want to master all of the ingredients, I want to be a product guru, then you just like barely, barely turn on your faucet. So it's just a little slow trickle, right? Um, and then the second month, that leak starts to take away everything that you're doing very slowly and you start to come into some negativity and some, um, you know, naysayers which they're always going to be there um for everyone and that like makes your leak even bigger and you you don't have much water to start so it's very very frustrating to ever fill the bathtub if that's your starting point now the way that i started i turned on the faucet full force and so my very first month from the very first day my faucet was on all the way and that first month there was no attrition so i filled my bathtub up really fast and then from the second month on that slow leak set in but my bathtub was filling full force still and so it was not that noticeable does that make sense like it's i i, I just hope that that just kind of helps you understand how it's so important that you do it quickly if it's so much easier if you do it quickly than if you do it slowly, it's so much easier and so much more successful, so much less frustrating. It really wasn't that hard. You guys looking back, like I always have been like, why am I the only one on my team that promoted to jewel within less than a year so far? I didn't get it. I was like, it wasn't that hard. So why hasn't anyone else done it? But I can see that 
it's because I turned on the bathtub full force from day one and I didn't understand that that's what made the biggest difference because I've worked with people and I have a lot of really successful people on my team that work really hard that are incredible leaders but they didn't turn on the faucet full force from day one so they've been battling the leak that's frustrating and always there and you know you really have to if you want to be successful you go in big spurts at a time like you got to hit it hard for 30 day periods that's what Rhonda Shaw says decide the level that you want to work for and then that will determine how many 30 day pushes you need to do so um, that's just such an incredible concept and I think it's really powerful so I hope that you understand that and utilize it so action leads to motivation not vice versa um, Tamara Holloway my my dear friend that I didn't know before Plexus but um, God brought us together her, she has a, a quote that's pretty well known um, that's, that is belief, um, what is it? Belief creates success, not success. Oh, I'm totally butchering it. It's not success that leads to belief, but belief that leads to success. I think that's it. I probably got it wrong, but just, I mean, something like that, and it's really powerful. So anyways, um, it's so important when you're trying to fill the bathtub, like I said, um, it, it, you turn on your faucet higher if, you're, if what you're sharing is promoting and finding business builders. And you have to kind of play with it a little bit until you find a message or a way to reach out that's really effective for you. It may be different for you than it is for me, but if you can find a way to share this business opportunity that is super effective, you're going to have people joining for the business, sharing from day one if you set them up well, and you'll have people fast starting on your team, and that bathtub's gonna be filling up so fast that no one even notices that leak in it. And that's what takes you to, to jewel ship. That's what takes you to the top. Um, and I do want to tell you that I, I've seen this both ways. My first year with Plexus, like I had the faucet on full force and I skyrocketed to jewel ship. You know, I mean, not, I don't know that I'd say skyrocketed. People have done it faster than that. But um, I had that, I had that quick speed that led to quick success. My second year, this is, this is really like transparent and, and I'm not proud of it, but I will tell you that my second year, 2016, um, that was my year of coasting and plateauing. And here's why, because I, we, we had so much momentum that we made it to Sapphire. My team did even without me working my personal business. Cause the minute I hit Emerald and the web info track set in, I changed my daily methods of operation. And I, I mean, I 100% believe I didn't have a choice for probably four or five months, maybe six. I don't remember exactly when it went kind of back to normal. But once it did go back to normal, what would you think I should do? You'd think I'd go back to that system that got me to Emerald, right? Yeah, I knew that that's what I should do. But here I was with these daily habits of being a manager. So I spent my time managing when that wasn't what I should have been doing. I, I should have gone back to that system that, you know, really brought me fast success. And if I were doing that enough, then I know it would have helped my team leaders too, because they, it, it's so true that they do as you do, not as you say. And not only that, but I think they need to see us, their upline, their leaders, um, bringing on new ambassadors every month and, and bringing on customers and stuff. It's so powerful for them. And so that year, 2016, I did not go back to that system the whole entire year. And it took a long time, but slowly that leak, like it started to be more noticeable and it started to be more noticeable. And thank goodness I've never once missed my Sapphire um, goal every single month. But I'll tell you that at one point I had enough momentum, even without me working my personal business, my team had enough business builders that were building even though I wasn't, that we got up to like, um, we got really close to the diamond points at one point. And then the leak set in. 
and it really slowly, so I, I barely even noticed it, and I don't pay attention to my points. That's really funny, but I didn't have a clue that I was going sapphire. My husband had to tell me. Um, so I don't pay attention to points, so I didn't notice that leak was really starting to settle in. And then by the end of last year, like I was gonna have to change my method of operation or I wasn't gonna be sapphire anymore. So you know what happened that's crazy is if, here's another thing too, like I feel as a Sapphire Ambassador, this is more than I was looking for. I have so many blessings as a Sapphire Ambassador. In all honesty, I would be happy to be a Sapphire for the rest of my life. Like, it's not about a title for me. It's not about pride for me. These, this is providing for my family so generously that I would be happy here, and, and I'm comfortable. I've got my daily operations. I, I've developed this role of management, and I don't know that I'd call it management because I don't think I'm like, a manager. I don't, I hope that I don't come across that way to my team, but that's how I spend all my time is trying to help them, trying to help them. How can I help them? What can I do to bring in, help them bring more people in? It's not right. Like no matter what level of leadership you get to, you're going to slowly lose it if you're not building a personal business. And the crazy thing is I lost my excitement, even though I felt so blessed. I didn't have that drive and that excitement that got me to Emerald because I wasn't in the trenches doing the work that even though it's hard sometimes, it's really invigorating and it really keeps you excited. And so out of desperation, I was like, I got to fix this. So starting at the beginning of this year, I'm going to tell you two things that have been the game changer for me. And this last month, I earned my smartwatch, and I can't tell you how proud I am of that goal because that's something that I have not done. I haven't worked at that level of my personal business since I promoted to Emerald. Over a, like it's been almost a year, you guys. Crazy. Actually, it's been over a year. Um, so I have this drive now and this excitement that I have never had in my business before. And I have no doubt that it's going to take me to diamond fast because I'm back in the game and stronger than ever and more excited than I've ever been because I have found two new things that are even more effective for me now than what I was using to get me to Emerald. And I'll tell you what they are. So the first one, and we've just kind of we discovered these by trial and error. And it's nothing like really big and game changing maybe for you. But for me, it's just the, the matter of I'm doing it and it's working for me and I'm excited about it. And so that's what's important. It's the activity that brings the excitement. So I started using voice messenger instead. Like the way I got to Emerald is I sent out private messages and I was typing them out. So I watched this video. It was one of em Emily Roberts that she shared. She did this interview with this guy. He's not even in Plexus, but he had this, he's like a, a multimillionaire, billionaire guy in network marketing. And he shared this one concept that really stuck with me called fast disqualification, where you reach out to someone and you just really quickly get your message right out to them. Don't waste any of their time. Just like find out if there's any interest. And so I developed this short voice message that I've been, it, it's all about like trying to sell, find business builders. And so I basically start by saying, you know, I, Hey, um, Lisa, I can't get you off my mind. I just wanted to reach out to you and tell you that I've just had this feeling that I need to talk to you. I just can't um, stop thinking about how successful you would be at Plexus. You have such great rapport with people. You have such an incredible network. And I know that people love to watch you. I know you could go all the way to the top with this. And so I just wanted to share that with you in case you're interested at all. I know that if I, if I helped you, like you could have so many blessings from this. This has been a game changer for my family. And I'll share just a little bit about, you know, but I try to keep it to let, uh, my rule is two messages or less. And you can only record 60 seconds at a time. So that's so much faster for them to listen to than reading this whole entire type, typed out message that I was using. And I'm having success with it. Like people are responding back so much even better than they were before. And um, so I just kind of made bullet points and I'm just kind of um, 
I change it up a little bit for each person. I try not to like make it scripted. I just have bullet points. I want it to sound natural and, and authentic and genuine to them, but I'm having success with it. And I'm working with some of my leaders now that are using it and they're having success with it. And so we're really excited about it. And not only that, but here is, I think this is maybe even more powerful. Um, we found this app called Marco Polo. Has anyone used it here? I know Chastity's familiar with it. So it's, it's like a really, it's a, a video chat app. It's kind of like the Facebook voice messenger, but you get to see them. So it's more personal. And so we started a, just a three-way um, IPA daily check-in group. And so, it can take as little as 10 seconds a day to jump on there and say, hey guys, I, I have such a busy day, but I'm, I'm gonna sit down and send out five new messages at one o'clock, like hold me to that. You know, I, I will check back in when it's done. And just that accountability is driving me. Like I, I need someone to be accountable to because otherwise I'm too easy on myself. And I'll get busy and I'll be like, oh, well I have to do this first and I just didn't get to it. But that accountability to those two friends of mine is huge. And so I would encourage you to start a three-way daily IPA chat check-in. The only day we don't check in on is Sunday, that's our Sabbath day. But it's huge and it is so exciting because guess what happens that we didn't even realize is so powerful. Like when you get a new ambassador, you can't wait to jump on that Marco Polo and tell your friends, oh my gosh, you guys, I just signed a new ambassador. It's so exciting. And, and then they get excited for you. And it's like we're feeding each other excitement. At the same time, we're holding each other accountable. I mean, sometimes um, one of us will get on there and be like, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to get my messages sent out today. I'm so busy. And, and another one of us will jump on and say, seriously, how long does it take to send five messages? 10 minutes. I guarantee you can find 10 minutes to do that. And then they'll get on and do it. So it's so powerful. So those are just a couple tips. And um, the main message is it's not how often you share. Um, I mean, it is. That's, that's huge. It's, it, and Rhonda Shaw shares in her video, it's 80% um, mindset, 20% how to and it's also 80 percent activity 20 percent how to so it, you have to have your mind in the right place and you have to be using the right message and it's it's so important that you're using your time wisely but it's also the bait that you're using if your bait isn't bringing in new ambassadors that are business builders then you need to change your bait and no matter how long it takes and how many attempts it takes and how many times you get ideas from people and try something new once you get it it's going to be worth it and you're going to go all the way to diamond okay so does anyone have any questions i know i went a little longer this time i'm sorry cindy you have a question okay <laughs> I'm going to ask for everyone here, but what gives a person in your mind a business? Like, what are you looking for, for in a person? Like, um, I know what I am, but I wanted to know you. Well, see, I believe that everyone should be given the opportunity. Are you asking, like, who are, are the ones that I reach out to first? Like, who do I see potential in? Like the followers, the influencers, the people that are busy, you know. The oh, no, one. I don't prejudge anyone. I, I mean, to be honest, I, I have a list of over 150 names right now that I'm going to send this message to. And I try not to prejudge anyone yep. because I people will surprise you. And that's something I've learned is you should never prejudge. Give the opportunity to everyone. But I, I mean, of course, I have some that I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to share with them first because I really do feel like they could be so successful with this. And to me, it's more like, I think the first thing I look for is self-confidence and um, someone that isn't afraid of what other people think of them. Um, that to me, that's huge because I believe that that's a huge factor in people being successful here and you can learn it but if it comes natural to someone that they're like there's someone that owns their own self and they're not ashamed of who they are and they don't like they don't care what other people think then those are people that I think can do really well with this because if they understand the opportunity and they're not afraid of a couple people thinking why would they do that then those are people that I feel like could run really well. So maybe that's just one you haven't really thought of. But I try not to prejudge. I just have a list, and I plan to hit everyone on that list. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect.
All right. Does anybody else have a quick question? I know we have to go. Somebody has a hair appointment. <laughs> Woo, fun. It's hard to keep it longer. I, I can get long winded. That was perfect. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop the recording right now. Okay, perfect. And, um, we can have um, anybody can un unmute and you can.